imagine it's 1400 years ago it's the 9th of Muharram at night you hear commotion and noises coming from outside so you leave your tent to see what's going on you come out and you see hundreds and thousands of people leaving looking around confused for a split second your eyes fall on the eyes of Mom Senle Salam you see the sadness and sorrow in his face there and then you decide you're going to stay knowing what's going to happen to you when the morning comes so now it's the 10th of Muharram the day of Ashura you're now the 73rd companion of Abba Abdullah al Hussein Imagine you walk up to offer your service to the Imam and he gives you the choice in what you want to do on that day. Where would you want to offer your service? What would you want to do? For me to be besides, beside my Imam to fight and battle for the sake of Islam, my decision is to stay with him, to be beside him because not only that he sacrificed his life for the sake of humanity, for the sake of Islam, for us, the Shia of Imam Ali, to be on this planet, to worship Allah, to, to, to learn the, the life of the Ahlul Bayt and for me to be beside the Imam, to allow the people after me to learn the life of the Ahlul Bayt, then I'll be beside the Imam. Now imagine one day you come home from work, your family are running around frantically in the house, your dad's organizing fruit, your mom's bringing sweets, your siblings are making tea, because naturally you have a guest at your house. So you ask your dad what's going on, who's come to see us, and your dad replies, there's a guest, but he hasn't come to see us. He's come to see you. So you say, okay, where is he? And your dad says, he's waiting for you in the living room. So you come to the living room, you open the door, you walk into the room. And you see, sitting in the room waiting for you, is Imam Hussain. What would you say to him in that moment what would you want him to say back to you in that very split second of me seeing that my house waiting for me first thing come to my mind why me why it was like what's that mom of our time what's that mom who sacrificed his life for us doing in my house waiting for me what have i done to, to earn this this moment because not everyone gets that moment, but what have I done to earn this moment throughout my life? That's my first question to the mom, and that feeling. And what would you want him to reply to in, for that question? What would you want him to answer you with? What would make you happy? For him, for him to say things like, um, from what I've done, our majalis, my khidmat to the Ahlul Bayt. If, if inshallah one day the Imam does come to my house and says that, then that will make me really happy to think that the Imam is proud of what I'm doing for the Ahlul Bayt. Is proud of my commitment towards the Ahlul Bayt and showing people that who the Ahlul Bayt are, the khidmat towards them. So now it comes time for the Imam to leave your house. What would you want him to say to you as a final farewell 
what would you do in that situation? Your mom's walking out of your house. How would you react? That's a tricky one. Um, first, it comes to mind that I know that in the afterlife. Inshallah that I will be standing beside the Imam, me and the family are standing beside him, granting me the keys to heaven for everything I've done in this life. What more could I ask for Imam? So at the beginning I asked you about 1400 years ago. Now given hindsight it's easy to say probably easy to say I would maybe help Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas bring water or I would protect the tents of the women and children or I would try to stop this calamity falling on this person or I would try to help in this manner a lot of us often forget that we have an Imam who's with us in this day and age and in a way, him being absent from us, or physically absent from us, has given us the choice in how we want to serve him. So what do you think you've done for the 12th Imam? What do you think he deserves from his companions or you know, his servants today, aka us? Because some say you know, Imam Hussein had 72 with him on that day. How many is Imam Mahdi, may Allah haste in his reappearance, got with him today? I've served the Toff Imam by giving all I can for the Majalis of the Ahl Bayt. Not just that, but me, myself make sure that I pray on time, make sure that everything I do is Islamically, is don't do anything haram in life, just follow the Ten Commandments of Allah, follow the beliefs of the Ahlul Bayt. What I've done um, for me to serve the Imam at this time is just to, from what I believe, is to follow the truth path of Islam. Serve the Ahlul Bayt in any way you can, whether it's the small things or the big things. At the end, you're all committed to one person, which is the Imam of our time, as you said. Earlier you mentioned to hear acceptance from Imam Hussain would make you happy. Acceptance of your service to the Ahlul Bayt, of your volunteering in Majalis, of your extracurricular activities, of your work with the youth, etc. How do you think the 12th Imam feels when he remembers you. I believe that the 12th Imam will be happy every time inshallah he remembers of me and not just me but the people around me for what we've done for his, his family, for his forefathers, for the, the progeny. So feeling happy. As well as <laughs> خدا کنه تو نور غیب نواییم خدا کنه خدا کنه